All right, guys, so now we are at the part two of this tutorial. So um, this part, we're going to draw our walls. OK, so you activate the wall tool. And before drawing the wall tool, I'm going to show you some possibilities, some option with the wall tool. All right, so here we have the reference line location. You see, there is this thick line and this is the reference. I'm going to show you, for example, you, when you draw the wall, okay, I'm going to zoom, I'm going to zoom uh, closer. You see, now there is the thick wall, this uh, thick line, that is the outside face. Um, this is basically um, when you're using a different uh, texture, different color. For example, the outside is a brick texture and the inside is a um, stucco white rough. So um, you need to precise where is the outside face and the inside face. And to flip it, there is this option here to flip between uh, your faces. All right, so when you draw a wall, chiefly when you have different colors of your wall, so you need to respect where is the reference outside or inside. Okay, so like here inside face, so your uh, reference, you see the black line here, the thick black line, it is uh, inside face. Um, and the inside and outside, I'm gonna show you what is it. Uh, this is the inside face and this is the, uh, no, this is the inside and here is the outside face. So. Uh, you need to respect that when you're drawing and this here this is the middle face uh, and this has to be the same as this first here okay so now let's start uh, let's delete this here delete and when you're drawing uh, you hold click here and you have the pol uh, simple line uh, polygonal or rectangular or you have many options here so you're gonna choose this uh, polygonal and here is when you want to draw a circle circular wall with two points three points and uh, three points too okay and these are different uh, methods all right so we're gonna start by drawing it like this now I'm going to flip Okay, because I want to follow this here and now click you follow all of the walls So here is the end. You click and right click and hit OK. There you are. Now we've drawn all of that walls. Now let's draw the inside.
Okay, so these are the, the closet. Alright, so that's it, and now we're gonna do those. These are small walls. Let's check, it's a 14. So we're gonna set up a walls of 14. Go here, change this to 14. Hit OK. Now let's draw them. All right, so we've done the ground floor. We've drawn all of our walls. Now we're going to the first floor. So you double click this here. And then um, what you need to do is you need to import another worksheet of the first floor. So right click here, new independent. O2, this is gonna be the first floor. First floor, create. And now take the drawing tool here and click and take first floor, open, place, this is okay. Alright, so you come back to your first floor and you go here and you need to browse and search for the first floor, hit okay. Now it's there. 
Alright, so mm, we need to drag it first. So, to align it with the ground floor, you need to activate see below uh, current story first. This here. And you need to draw... Um, what is it? A guide. We need to put a guide here. To do so, we... Let's just go here and uh, take this uh, hotspot tool. Let's just put a hot spot here. Okay. So now I'm going back to my first floor. There it is. And I'm going to take to pick it from here. Okay. To my hotspot there. Is it okay? All right. So that's how to do it. So now, when I'm drawing the wall here, it will be parallel to the ground floor. All right. So that's it for this part, and I let you draw all of your walls like we did before, and see you on the next part, uh, which will be about the windows and doors.